Hey there brothers and sisters, Tim here with the Wear the Rope. In today's video I've got a really fun follow along full body rope flow workout for you to try. The only patterns you need to do it are an overhand, an underhand, a drag and roll and a matador. If you've got a heavy rope, like I'm trying this new Wear the Rope prototype heavy rope right now, if you've got one I'd recommend using that. We're going to be doing some lunging, some balance work and it just gives you a nice bit of weight, counterweight to work against, kind of like a dance partner as you go. If you're ready, and let's get started. I'm just gonna start with a little warm up, couple minutes warm up, with some nice overhand, rolling out the spine, rolling out the shoulders as we go, letting those shoulders draw circles with each side. And we can lean forward, curve the spine, flex the stomach, open up the back of the spine, and then we can go the opposite way, looking up to the sky, arching back, rocking side to side with the feet, pumping the legs just to get some blood pumping around the whole body. Then we're gonna swap the underhand. You can either transition around or stop and go like I just did. Same thing again. It's gonna allow those shoulders to roll, allow the spine to curve forward, and then up to the sky, and then allowing the feet to step left and right with the sink of the rope as you go. Next up, obviously, we're going to go a bit of drag and roll. Just one way as you go. 30 seconds. Keep the elbows almost straight, allowing the chest to open up, shoulders to open back, opening the heart to the sky. You can go slow and high, or low and a lot of rotation in it. Nice and easy. And final round, opposite direction drag and roll, just to open up, even the body out onto the other side. Again, you can do arms a little bit bent, or arms, I like it particularly in the beginning, nice and straight with the arms, opening up the spine to the sky, opening up the chest. Slowing down ready to start with our leg series. So to begin, we're gonna start in overhand. And what we're gonna do, begin with matador. And we're just gonna stay on the right leg and we're just gonna lift the left leg up as we go. So staying on the right leg and as I come across, I'm lifting the left knee up to the sky. Just doing a few reps of that. Lift that knee, come across the body. This is a contralateral motion. We're bringing the left knee to the right shoulder. And then when you've done matador a few times, you're just gonna do some singles. So normal overhand figure of eight, letting the shoulders roll, lifting that knee up nice and high. Come up on the ball of that right foot as well if you want. Okay, now keeping in that overhand and keeping on the right leg, this time we're gonna go back to matador. We're gonna step the left leg back. So as I come across to my right, I'm stepping that left leg back into a deep lunge. I like reverse lunges much more than front lunges, a lot gentler on the body. Just get nice and deep into that leg. You can ease it up if you want to begin with, like a nice gentle pistol. Really like coiling in. So I'm rotating my ribs. As I step back, I'm not just staying stationary like so. I'm turning across the body and I'm allowing that left shoulder to raise up. Now, like we did before, when you're comfortable with the matador, I'm gonna to go to singles. So. Step back, step up. Step back, step up. Step back, step up. There we go. Last few seconds on that right side. Nice and deep now. Next up, we're gonna do that same series on the left leg. So this time, back to matador, lifting the right knee up. As you put across to the right, the right knee comes up to meet it. Kind of like a Muay Thai kick. You can put some extra emphasis on it if you want. Beginning with that matador, just stepping back, staying upright. And then, as you want, you can add a little high up on the ball. And then when you're ready, last 15 seconds now, singles. And if, you know, you're just waking up, you don't wanna go intense, just a little step forward will do. Or raise the knee, or high up on the knee, or hop. Okay. Right, 
what's next from there. We're going to do that step back lunge like we did on the right side back on the left. So this time the right leg's going to step back, back to matador, and my right leg steps back. Boom. As the rope comes to the left, I step the right leg back. And you can ease it down, just small lunges to begin with, and then build further as you go to get into a nice deep. Last 15 seconds, just gonna go singles. All right, now back to the right leg this time. We're gonna put them two together. So I'm on my right leg. I'm gonna step, step back. So as I'm gonna st step up with the left knee and I'm gonna step back and step back with the right leg. So it's left knee up, right leg back. And you can see I'm going figure of eight each side of the body as I go. Boom, boom. Left knee up, hands come past, step back, boom. And you can do a matador version. It's take a bit more time, but this one just feels really nice. And you just go nice and fast with it. And then last few seconds, if you want, you can go up, back. So we take out that middle step, boom. Losing my balance here, up, back. Okay, nice 45 seconds there. Let's change to the other side. So that same thing again, but on the other side. So right knee comes up, step back, and then left leg steps back. So right knee comes up, left leg steps back with that transition step in the middle. Boom, and you can matador it for some of it, or you can just go singles if you want. Boom, single, single, like that. Difference between matador and single is whether there's two beats on one side for the matador or one beat for the single. So I'm going left, right. Right, to finish, last few bits, you can go right knee up, right knee back, right knee up. Boom. Okay. Good work, people. Final section. Open up into dragon roll. I'm going clockwise. I'm just going to drop into a nice deep squat or a horse stance. But this is a shifting horse stance. We're not just staying on the spot. We're allowing the weight of the rope, especially if you've got a heavy rope, you're going to be feeling this, to pull the body left and right. Really starting to... You know, you can squeeze the, the thighs together as you're squatting as well. Get some tension on those inner thighs. Or if you want, why not try both? Use your glutes to open up the thighs, letting the weight shift. Right, after 30 seconds, change in direction. Staying low as we go. Get as low as you can now, last 10 seconds. Slow and low in that squat. It feels good, doesn't it? All right. It's the end of the leg series. Now onto the balance series. I'm going to start the overhand, standing on the left leg for 30 seconds. You can do matador if you want. And when you're ready, swap to singles. And you could, you know, Stay still if you want, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. You can see my other leg acting like my squirrel's tail and countering the weight of the rope to keep me balanced. And this is just intuitive. I can just feel that for the body to stay in balance, it wants to do this. Right, change to the right leg, overhand. Start with some matadors, so it gives you a chance to get comfortable. Ah, that's where I need to be there, and that's where I need to be there. So you know the end points of the right side, the end point of the left side. And then when you're ready, swap to that singles, boom. And again, you'll see this, my left leg floating now like my squirrel's tail, keeping me balanced. Almost like I'm running, fake running on the spot. Okay, after 30 seconds, I'm gonna change underhand, back to the left leg, single leg balance. You can do matador if you want. I like to just go straight into this, straight into the underhand. Like I'm charging. The whole body feels like it's charging except for that one leg is glued to the ground. And I'm learning to stabilize around that balance. A really good feeling here. The heavier that rope, the more your body's gonna work like cogs 
change legs. The heavier that rope, the more your body's gonna be working like cogs to maintain balance. It's a beautiful feeling. The shoulders, the ribs, the hips, the knee, the ankle, all maintaining balance. If you tune into that right foot right now, you should feel the figure of eight going through the right ankle as it keeps you stable. Okay, gonna finish, open up in some drag and roll. I'm going anti-clockwise, which means I'm gonna be on my right leg for this. So I'm trying to maintain balance on your right leg. Don't worry if you're not perfect. Don't worry if you have to put your foot down. It's all part of the practice. Really try to find the motion that that left leg wants to do to stay balanced. As my hand comes behind me, my left leg comes in front to counteract that weight shift and change direction with the rope, change direction with the leg. I can see Peter behind the camera itching to have a go. He wants to feel how this feels. Didn't bring a spare rope for him today. Can have a go after. But you guys, hopefully you're feeling this, enjoying this challenge. So the final one, final 10 seconds, drag and roll and try and stay on that left leg. You do have to fight. It doesn't matter if you fall, but at least fight for it, you know? Fight. And we're working, so we're going clockwise with the rope. It means we're on the left leg. End of the balance series. Final minute then. Minute and a half, finisher. Double dragons, right? 15 seconds, double dragons. If you've got double dragons, if not, just do a fast drag and roll on one side. But I'm going to double dragon, 15 seconds. Fifteen second break, ten or fifteen second break. Then I'm going to swap double dragons to the other side. So now I'm doing underhand double dragons. If you know the difference, fifteen seconds. Pick up the pace. Okay. Little break there. Last fifteen seconds finish this workout some intensity i'm going to go back to the overhand side i'm going to do it face on for you guys 15 seconds let's go sink your breath and last one okay whoa out of breath thank you so much for joining me i really hope you enjoyed that Quick plug, this is my prototype of a brand new rope, a really heavy rope, heavier than anything I've released before. I've not released a new rope in over three years, but now feels like the right time. I'm really enjoying this. So I'm just gonna do a limited run. So whatever gets ordered over the next two weeks on wayofthereope.com, I'm gonna make those and I'm gonna send them off all to you personally, make them by hand myself, send them off to you guys. And then after then, um, it might, I might not make another one the same or for a while at least anyway. So if you're interested, check out wayofthereope.com. Otherwise, maybe I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, Godspeed.